Join us now for an insight with Carl Summer. Here I am reading to some of my grandchildren. It all started one bright sunny day when proud rooster and little hen woke by a strawberry patch. Wow, yelled proud rooster. Look at all those delicious strawberries. You better not eat them, warned little hen. They aren't right. Mama told us green strawberries will make us sick. But do you think Proud Rooster listened? No, he's no. proud. No, not Proud Rooster. But he ran as fast as he could and slid far across the ice yelling, Whee! This is fun! Then it happened. Crack went the ice. Down went Proud Rooster into the freezing water. Help! Help! He cried. Get me out of here! The water is ice cold! Proud Rooster struggled and struggled to get out, but the ice kept breaking. Hurry up and get me out of here, screamed Proud Rooster. I'm freezing. As your children begin to learn words, let them read the story to you. Here I am reading with one of my grandchildren. Ice to sleep was not the problem. Missy had a short little in a cozy little room. Very good. You're doing very that. good. Teach your children how to read. Be liberal with your praise when they read well. Now here I'm reading with another one of my grandchildren. I have 17, by the way. This will be my last one for this video. But teach them to read with expression. And this is Charity. She's going to be reading here. Okay. Although Sangu did not want to learn from his parents, he did learn much from his friends. But the things he learned were things that he did wrong. One day as Sangu and the gazelles were having a wonderful time, he began so happy that he let out a big roar. Ooh, very good. Mm. He glazed. He... The, the, the gazelles jumped for a fright. Yeah, they were scared. Don't ever do that again, they yelled. That sounds terrible. You never, you never hear us making sounds like that. Very good, a lot of expression. Sangu hung his head in shame and he whispered, I'm sorry. Very good. Then one of the gazelles scolded him. You You've just got to stop being so foolish. You need to learn how to act like us. Very good. Encourage your older grandchildren to choose books that will help them build character and teach them how to become successful. Character building picture books promote core ethical values as caring, citizenship, courage, fairness, respect, responsibility, perseverance, self-discipline, and trustworthiness, which shows children by means of interesting stories the wisdom of making wise choices that will benefit themselves as well as society. Character building story picture books allow children to learn important lessons without going through the tragic circumstances of life. And also let me give you another encouragement as grandparents. Some grandparents sometimes undermine their children by being permissive with them. Don't do it. Support your children. When, you're, when they do something wrong, support the parents. Don't ruin your grandchildren. And teach them the values that these books do. And I, I stress it over and over again with my grandchildren to listen to their parents. We also have, for each one of the 24 books, we have read-alongs, and this is just a few of them. And what you can do with the read-alongs, the, the CDs, we can put them in a, in a CD player, and you can, this particular one has a remote, which I like, so you can pause or just press the button, and you can teach, you can ask questions, and make it interesting. I like to also show you some of the music for music appreciation. We have lots of music, different kinds of music, and this is a sample of some of the music that's on these read-alongs. 
Speckles the spider, Andy the ant, and a crickety old cricket named Crumbs lived under a giant willow tree beside Crystal Lake. The three friends had lots of fun running and hopping and playing together. They swung on the branches and slid down the leaves. Sometimes they floated together in the lake on an old hollow branch. Up climbed Annie and away they went. Katie and Annie flew high above the trees and over Crystal Lake. They flew all around the countryside visiting many wonderful places. Using read-alongs is also an excellent way to teach children how to read on their own. Sometimes both parents are so busy that they don't have time to read to their children. Providing read-alongs for your grandchildren lets them listen to the stories on their own. One of the most important lessons for your grandchildren to succeed in school is that they have the ability to read. Teach your grandchildren early. Make reading a fun time and choose books that not only entertain, but also teach your grandchildren the important values on how they can become successful. Let them experience your love and compassion as you read to them. When time passes on and your grandchildren are grown, you'll never regret the time you spent reading to them. Leave a loving legacy to your grandchildren. Have fun, pick up a book, and read to your grandchildren.